What I want you to remember about meningitis is it can be bacterial, it can be viral. Pop quiz. Between bacterial and viral, which one needs isolation? Bacterial is the only one that needs isolation. And which one's more common, bacterial or viral? Thank goodness. Viral more common, thank goodness, because bacterial meningitis is bad juju. If you get bacterial meningitis and we don't catch it and treat it, mortality rates about 100%. And know the signs and symptoms of meningitis, uh, nuchal rigidity, photophobia, okay, where I turn the lights on and he cringes and covers his eyes. Uh, also know that for many patients uh, with bacterial meningitis, they can get the rash, high fevers, and then for adults using nuchal rigidity, for kids, we might use our Koenig sign and Brzezinski sign instead for them. Who's more likely to get bacterial meningitis? Well, any kind of infectious process in the cranial vault or in the head is going to make them a higher risk. An ear infection, a, a tooth that's abscessed, sinus infection, a, a brain abscess, any of those, much more likely, or if they've had a recent spinal surgery or brain surgery. Now, I want to remind you, too, of some of the clues you may see in cerebral spinal fluid that help us decide whether it's bacterial or viral. With bacterial, the cerebral spinal fluid is no longer clear and colorless. It's now somewhere between cloudy and milky colored. WBCs and protein levels are high because they do have a bacterial infection, and the protein levels in their C CSF are high because bacteria are made of protein and star, 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 low glucose levels. Okay, if they give you cerebral spinal fluid answers and they say low glucose, think bacterial meningitis and get them in isolation. And of course the cultures come back positive. Treatment for those patients, isolation, antibiotics, supportive measures. Different with viral meningitis. Their cerebral spinal fluid is clear and their glucose levels are normal. They do not need isolation, we just focus on supportive measures like fever control, headache control.